Welcome back, brawlers and Baku Crew members. As always, it's BakuBread96 here with another, well, I would call it an unboxing, but I've already done that to save time, so we'll just call it a Battle Pack review. Now, I know this one's older because it is indeed Wave 1, uh, but for a long time I thought it was an Amazon exclusive until, lo and behold, I found this set at Burlington and it was discounted for only 15 so I actually decided to pick it up just to get the review out there and let you all know kind of what is included uh, in case you all find it at your local Burlington or if you decide to grab it on Amazon. So one thing to note though is it does include a black Ventry which I know there is a ton of Ventry fans. If Butterclaw wasn't a thing Ventry would definitely be my favorite. So let's go ahead and dive right in, shall we? For all of you watching that plays that Roblox game, here is the code. Otherwise, I'm going to yeet that away. And now then, the ripcord included is black themed and so is the little card holder. Really neat for uh, Darkest Brawlers back in uh, G2, I suppose. But for G3, uh, just the color scheme that matches Ventry, I suppose, is the idea behind that, which is... You know, cool. Confirming this is indeed Wave 1, we have some uh, Wave 1 map pieces. We have the Avian Clan Part C. And then we have the Dragon Clan, if I can make that out. Oh, Part C as well. So we have uh, both C sides of the uh, Wave 1 Clan maps, respectively, for Dragon and Avian. Not bad, but believe it or not, those are maps I actually already have completed. So that's really neat. Doesn't hurt to have the extras, I suppose. Same for the special attack ring cards, though. They are duplicates. We have yet again another Blazing Warrior and another Flare Axe and Smash Hammers. I feel like we just see these over and over again, albeit, I mean, I know this is Wave 1, but still, lots and lots of reprints. Won't spend too much time on that because of it. But now then, I think the Brawler cards are new, or there's some that I never picked out originally. So starting off, we do have a Juno. I think I've seen this one. 100 health, 100 speed, and then if it's played on a Mammal, you get plus 400 strength. Makes sense. After that, it is a copy of Thunder Crunch. So 100 health, 100 strength, and then if it's played on an Aquatic Bakugan, you get plus 400 speed. Really good for my uh, Butterclaw team. And then we have another copy of Thunder Crunch as our third and final card. Uh, so if it's played on a black Bakugan, you get plus 300 health. Otherwise, 200 speed and 100 strength. Not bad at all. I mean, is it considered black? Should I be saying purple if it's played on a purple Bakugan? But I mean, they're black. I, I have no idea. Let, dr drop it in the comments below if you know, Brawlers, because I don't. I mean, not bad. I mean, for aquatic teams, that's really good. I mean, I guess that could be for anything, really. But this one, yeah, good aquatic, uh, aquatic theme. I suppose for G3, I lean towards aquatic teams. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because of Butterclaw. Obviously the channel mascot, but otherwise I'm not not really too keen on a uh, deck building So let's take a look at these stats starting out with the titanium special attack Ventry Well, if I can get it get a little focus going 400 health 200 speed and then 400 strength Not bad at all. And I really do admire the Ventry artwork such a cool uh, design I think I've almost got all of the special attack entries now. I'll have to go back and uh, sort through the collection to find out, but yeah, not bad. And then here is the Titanium Dragonoid, so 400 health, 400 speed, and then 200 strength. So the same stats, just uh, different lines than the Ventry. Uh, and then I do believe that you can play an extra Brawler card when you uh, use this Bakugan. I believe that's what that symbol means. I could be wrong. Again, you know, everyone watching, help me out. Hard to keep all this uh, track of all of this when you don't have an official rule book. Uh, but yeah, there is the Dragonoid, and that's the special attacks. Now taking a look at the cores, right? We have a red octagon. Uh, not 300, excuse me, 200 health, 500 speed, and then 300 strength. So really fast octopus. Huh. 
Then we have a black or purple bruiser. 100 health, very low. 400 speed and then 500 strength, so very strong. Uh, and then if this Bakugan clashes, you do get to reroll. I do believe that is the clash symbol. Again, having some problem with the focus. But yeah, so if it clashes, you do get to reroll it. That is really nice. I like that. There's probably some, uh, some strategy involved there. And the last Bakugan included is a white Trox. So 400 health, 400 speed, and 200 strength. Not bad. Again, though, this is wave one, right? So these are older Bakugan. It's a shame I couldn't review it sooner, but this was a set I had not planned on picking up, being completely honest with uh, with all my viewers. It's just uh, when I saw it on sale, right? That was kind of the icing on the cake. Hard to pass up any Bakugan product when it is marked down uh, because retail kills sometimes. It really does. Now then... To take a look at the figures, right? The fun part. And it's funny because in my latest uh, review video, which if you missed it, you can check it out in the uh, description down below. Uh, but it also included a Dragonoid, right? So I was just messing with one of these. It was the uh, the white one. Wow, these wing bits are always stiff. It doesn't matter which Dragonoid I get. Everyone, the manual pieces on the wings are just so stiff. But here we have the Titanium Dragonoid. Again, really cool. I feel like it has the same light blue mask that the uh, the white version had. So that's really neat. And again, the same silver on the wings too. I guess that's because it's Titanium Dragonoid. Uh, the bottom half, again, that glittery color, but it is the same, I believe. Uh, and then the SA ring with that blue. I really like the colors of the SA rings in this set. Uh, pretty cool for a customization, you know, the Flare Axe and Smash Hammers, I think would go really good on a Galactic, and this one you might be able to swing on a Galactic, uh, but it also might be too light. Would look good on the Blue Ventry, though, in my opinion. But yeah, Dragonoid, really cool. Do have a little manual tail here. Very, very nice Bakugan. So to close it, obviously fold in the manual wings, fold the head in. And it all just kind of collapses in, I think. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's supposed to. It doesn't want to. There we go. A little more clicking and clacking, but uh, that is the Dragonoid. Now then, time for the Ventry, which I'm really disappointed uh, that the SA bottom half included with the Ventry is the wrong one. Uh, this looks more like the one for uh, man Manted. But I guess that's okay. I have my own chrome wing one, so I can always just customize it. But it's still a letdown. Vitri also has little manual wing bits for the top half. Again, stiff. Very, very stiff. So careful when you fold those out, brawlers. Uh, but yeah, here is the black Ventry. Really nice. Again, Ventry would be my favorite if Butterclaw wasn't a thing. I like the purple on the wings, though. I feel like there could have been a little more. Uh, but that is some nice detail. Again, the silver finish. Not a bad Bakugan. And again, good colored SA rings, I suppose, with this set. Even if the Bakugan are kind of eh, you get some nice colored uh, SA rings. So that's good. And probably out of this set, the Ventry is really the only, only Bakugan I'm interested in. Uh, but, you know, Brawlers, I always try to review every Bakugan possible for you all. So here is the Ventry closed up. Had the bottom piece pop out there, but here we are. Not a lot of detail on the, uh, the closed ball version. Now then, the core Bakugan. So we have a red octagon. If it's going to open, no. I threw the bread. I'm barely rolling from like an inch away and I still throw the bread. But here is the octagon. So of course... With the combined system, you do have some manual pieces. Oh, geez, really stiff. I, everything is just so stiff. There we go. There is the red octagon. So I have quite a few of these as well. I don't know if I have all of them, but surely by now I'm getting close. I don't know, though. I can't confirm it. But I would think by now I'm getting pretty close to having full sets of some of these. 
Up next is a Trox. So it has a very interesting manual piece as well. The bottom slides out. And that's the uh, the feet. So it kind of just makes it a little longer. And I feel like I have way too many Trox too. Like Trox got so much attention uh, in wave one and wave two uh, that there was just so many different variants and they're all green. But I guess having a white one, that's uh, that's different at least. And then now we have, if I can get everything to focus, the bruiser from this set. Which again, I don't know, should these be called black or purple Bakugan? Because the coloring on the cards is all purple, uh, but then they have a darkest color scheme, so I just, I have no idea. But here is another bruiser, and again, funny enough, I just got through reviewing the, uh, the Wave 3 pack, and it had a green bruiser, so... Funny enough, I actually have some mold reprints from Wave 1 in Wave 3, just different colors, you know, different stats, but still the same molds that we have seen before. Alright, that's generally it, brothers. Let's see if I can't stand some special attack Bakugan to wrap everything up. And this time I think I'll go for like a little battle strategy. Last time I kind of had everything out in the way. Uh, this time, let's get these two special attacks spinning at the same time. Again, that's not really easily accomplished when you're one person trying to record, but, you know, we'll do what we can. So let's let it rip, or Baku Brawl, or you know what, no one, no one knows anymore. And they're off. So it looks like the Ventry has some power. Both stood. Wow, what do you know? I actually didn't throw the bread that time. But there we have it. There was some G3 in action. Brothers, thank you all for watching. As always, thank you for the support. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more reviews. But until next time, stay safe, drum up, Bakugan brawl, and throw the bread!